Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Gen AI Learniverse. Today we're tackling a super fun project where we'll blend the magic of two powerful AI models. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to upload an image and magically transform it into a new artistic style, like bringing the vibrant and imaginative 3D Pixar or Disney aesthetics into your photos. Let's get started and see how you can turn a simple photo into a stunning piece of art in your favorite style. Okay, so first we'll start our pie charm. So let me do that and I'll run it as administrator. Okay, so this is this will be a fun project wherein we are going to merge two of our previous uh, projects that we already have built. And then it will show that how you can utilize different kind of models all together to achieve and to build something useful or kind of uh, real world application. So let's let's start uh, working on our new project. So to do that, I'll first create a new file and I'll give it a name as generate similar image. So uh, as I have mentioned for this project, I'm going to utilize my previous projects that, that, that we already have built. So for that one, I'm going to use reuse the code that we already have uh, written in the past. So first one is I'll be copying the code from our image captioning project. So let me copy that. I'll be copying all the libraries that is required. Then I'll be copying um, these two lines as well. Since in this particular project, we are not going to use the uh, audio part. So we are not going to import this library. So that's why I didn't copy this. And then <coughs> Okay, now I will also be uh, copying other other code. So let me copy everything and then I'll just start removing what all is not required. So, okay, so this time I'm not going to deploy it on um, Hugging Face. That's why I'll run it using local model. So text to speech is not required. So I'll remove this line. Sorry. And then hard coded this tool and I'll also remove and this one also I'll remove and I'll uncomment all these line of codes. So what it does is this is our local path for the model that we are going to use for image captioning and then this is the caption image code that is kind of taking that will be taking our model path and then uh, sorry that is uh, here is the model path right that will be uh, image to text task that will be done using this particular line okay we are calling the pipeline passing the uh, model path as well as device now there is uh, this is for um, audio generation so that is also not required i'll remove this one and this is the line of code that we are interested in, wherein we will be uploading some image and then it will give us the semantics so what is the what, the idea of this project is we will be uploading one image it will give us the semantics um, um i already have explained what that the semantics mean so if you have not watched my previous project go back and watch that uh, and then once we have got that, that semantics this particular semantics will be passing to another model sd3 model as a prompt so that that model will be able to generate a new image uh, based on the semantic that was uh, kind of pulled by this model using the from the image that we uploaded okay so if it is getting if it is a little confusing uh, let me um, you know build this project and i think it would be easier to understand so i'll be using return semantics okay so my caption my image is done now again this is for this code is uh, uh, this code should work fine for our image captioning right but here idea is to have this uh, you know text generated from this image pass this to our sd3 that is image generation model to generate another similar kind of model okay so let me go to the last project that we uh, build that is uh, image generation using sd3 so for this one again i'll be copying all the code and for this one as if you have seen my previous project you know this requires stable diffusion 3 pipeline using diffusers library so i'll be copying this line okay i'll paste it over here and then i'll again copy this device line is already there i'll copy this pipeline and then i'll enter pipeline dot oh 
or maybe I'll just copy the complete function okay so this function basically takes um, in prompt as an input and return the image right so I'll just copy the complete function and I'll paste it just before this function so my function is ready and uh, now what I want to do is as soon as we are getting this caption my image right it should give me uh, we will be passing the semantics to this particular function so what I'll do is I'll mention image is equal to image generation right and inside this image generation I'll be passing semantic as a function okay I hope this is clear um, and so my code is ready now what what will happen is as soon as we upload some image from this one right it will caption uh, the image right and then this image will pa will be passed to this particular model and this particular model will then um, you know uh, run the process and ultimately give us the um, new image uh, that would be similar to the image that we have uploaded so for this one I'll have to make some changes as well so rather than in the outputs I'll also have image right and label would be um, new image generated using st3 type would be pill okay so this would be our 10th project and I'll give it a name as generate similar images and then this application will be used to caption the image to generate similar image based on the image uploaded okay so now my code is ready uh, let me try to run it and see whether it is working fine or not inside caption what I'm going to do is I'll also add some additional parameter so for example I'll just add along with that I'll be adding 8k I'll enter 8k uh, then ultra HD uh, maybe these two lines so whatever prompt that we will be getting whatever semantic will be getting will be adding these additional parameter just to make that image little bit better okay now my project should be ready uh, should be working fine let's see and let's try to run it and see whether it is working fine or not if or if in case we are we are getting any kind of error so i ran this project okay so my, my url has been generated so seems like uh, code uh, you know worked fine i mean at least from the compilation per perspective it compiled successfully let's see if uh, we are able to get the image or not so let me upload this image okay so my image has been generated I'll click on submit and now based on this image what this model first model will try to find the semantics and then this cementing will be passed to SD3 model that is image generation model along with some additional uh, you know properties that i have added like 8k and then um, ultra hd kind of thing and then it should be able to generate the new image for us and that should also be having the similar characteristics right uh, kind of woman walking with her dog so th this kind of thing should be there so let's see what kind of image it generates it seems like there is some error no it is working fine but why it didn't display the image so it ran successfully but image was not generated so let's see what went wrong okay i got it so basically what happens is here uh, ideally i am not returning here as you can see we should be returning the image right so i'll just return image okay and then let's try to run it again okay my url has been generated let me upload the image let me click on submit and let's see we'll have to wait for some time 
and then it should be able to generate some image for us. And right now SD3 model is still the base model. So maybe sometimes you might not get the very good image. So maybe you will have to try some sometimes or maybe a couple of times and then also you might need to play around with the prompt what uh, works well. However, soon people will be kind of generating a new models that is trained based on this model. So uh, that uh, would be coming soon. As you can see, it kind of, you know, followed the same prompt. There is a girl walking with her dog, but dog dog is like looking at some other side, right? Some similarly, there is a kind of uh, beach um, in the background, right? So we have got the similar image, right? Um, so this is a kind of fun project that I thought to uh, show you that how you can merge multiple uh, models together. Let's try with some other image. So I'll be... Uh, Let's use this one. Okay, sometimes it doesn't display the image. Let me try again. Okay, I'll click on submit. Let's see what happens. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, uh, a cat image has been generated. This is a kind of similar one because the captioning image gave us something else. Uh, it would must it must have given something like a cat looking uh, somewhere, something like that, right? And then you have got another beautiful cat image. Let me try with the third one. Let's see how it works. Uh, there you will have multiple characters and I'll just paste submit. And perfect. As you can see, uh, the similar kind of image got generated, right? Everyone has uh, champagne and then there are multiple people celebrating. So similar kind of stuff is going on here as well, right? So uh, try it your end. Try it with different images and definitely you will, uh, you know, enjoy playing around with this. Uh, at the same time, you can also play with these properties, right? The property that I talked about, maybe you can add something else. If you want to generate the image in the 3D or pixel style or something like that, what you can do is here, you can add like 3D pixel style, cute. So different parameters are there. You can add and then the ultimate image will be in that style that you will be providing here, right? So try it at, at your end. Um, uh, let me know in the comment section how it went. If you stuck somewhere, just uh, mm, uh, add your comments in the video comment section. I'll try to help you out um, and I'll try to respond as soon as possible. So if you like this video, uh, please uh, hit the like, bu like button and also consider sub subscribing to this channel. Thank you so much. Happy learning.